the Olympic team trials and the Pro Bowl in town. Businesses are getting ready for a busy weekend. That's right. West News Haley Crumble home heard from two places expecting to welcome big crowds this weekend. Haley. Yeah, that's right. And if you're planning on going, I'm outside of City Hall in the plaza. This is one of the places where you'll be able to see some of the runners. They've already got some of the fencing up here. And with this covering a whole lot of ground in Orlando, there are going to be plenty of businesses and over by Camping World that are going to see an impact this weekend. So we're definitely um, expecting a big increase in traffic. Not far from Camping World Stadium sits Dead Words Brewing. And with the Pro Bowl games in town, they'll be opening earlier on Sunday just to catch some of the fans. We're going to be opening at 10 a.m. Just give people, you know, that extra hour to come in and have a couple drinks, eat some pizza before heading over to the game. And Jack Henning, the co-general manager, says it's well worth it. I would say on Sundays like that with big events, I mean, we are like, like, four, five, six, seven times sales that we would be on any other day. It's it's a massive impact from anything that happens over at Camping World. And over in Thornton Park, Graffiti Junction says runners and their families have already stopped by. It already has had an impact. But they're expecting an even bigger one this weekend. We are going to be staffing differently because, uh, you know, Throughout the weekend, I mean, what the events start Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and so we have extra staff on there and be prepared because everything comes at once. But they welcome it. With the Olympic trials covering miles across areas like Thornton Park, Lake Eola, and the Milk District, businesses throughout the city will get a boost. It's super important, and I'm glad it's, you know, for all the local businesses in the neighborhood. And here in City Hall Plaza is not the only place that you'll be able to catch the runners. We've posted a link on our website where you can see where some of the best spots will be. Live in Orlando, Haley Crumble Home, West 2 News. And you can learn more about the runners tomorrow. Our West 2 special Racing to Paris airs live Friday night at 730 from the Dr. Phillips Center. From where to watch the race in downtown to the runners you'll want to watch, we have everything you need to come out and cheer for for the Olympic hopefuls. That's Friday night at 730 over on West 2. And make sure you're watching West 2 News Sunrise on Saturday from 5 to 8 a.m. Sonic Adange and Sheldon Dutez will get you ready for the race. And then, of course, you can watch the Marathon live on the streets of downtown Orlando, or you can watch it at home live at 10 a.m. on Peacock and then at noon right here on West 2.